Hey guys, it's Miss Rommel and Polly again, and we wanted to review your writing topic for this week, and last week we're continuing with our ouch paper. Say hi, Polly. All right, let's take a look at that now. You are finishing your ouch story this week, and also I am going to include that piece of paper that you see right here, where if you choose to print it, you can, and write your final draft on that. But if you don't have a printer, no worries, you don't have to. And I even um, put a little band-aid here in the picture part if you wanted to draw a picture. And you can even draw like a little face on the band-aid and draw a little scene and the band-aid could be like you getting your injury and you could draw that. If you choose, if you don't have a printer or a band-aid at home, you could simply type into the Google document. Let's review voice. Does the reader have a connection to what you were saying? Can the reader understand your attitude and feelings? Does your word choice include capitalization, bold words, underlined words, or exclamation marks? Conventions, is there enough space between your words? Are your letters and words formed correctly? Are all words spelled correctly? Are you writing on the lines with the holes to the left and skipping lines if you're writing on a piece of notebook paper? That wouldn't apply if you're typing into a document. Are you capitalizing the first word of every sentence? Are you putting punctuation at the end of every sentence? And are you using correct grammar? So last week you should have written a rough draft about an injury you once had using your unique voice, meaning I can tell that it's coming from you and it's your paper, and uh, using all of the other traits that we've gone through this year. By now we've gone through all of the writing traits. I read you my ouch story about when I broke my femur, I had a topic sentence. I had five middle detail sentences that started with these transition words. And I have uh, punctuation at the end of every sentence. I start every sentence with a capital letter. And then I have a conclusion sentence at the end. Last week you did your rough draft. This week you are editing using the editing checklist. And then you're writing a final draft. So for your editing checklist, you don't have to do this on a piece of paper. You could just check through if you did this in a Google document, but just look at each of these and then look at your writing. I don't have to see an edited writing piece. All I need to see is the final draft this week. Did you indent? Did you skip lines? Did you start each sentence with a capital letter? You don't have to trace with a crayon, just check each sentence. Did you put a punctuation mark at the end of each sentence, whether it was a period question mark or an exclamation mark? Did you have a topic sentence that was a complete sentence introducing your writing piece? Don't just uh, go right into the details. You should write um, a topic sentence. Did you write at least three middle detail sentences? And did you use transition words? First, next, then, last, finally. And did you wrap things up with a conclusion sentence? Also, did you whisper read the paper to yourself to make sure that it sounds correct, that you didn't leave out any words, and that it makes sense? All right, boys and girls, I look forward to reading your final drafts, and I hope you have a great week. Bye, guys.